Good evening to both of you. This is obviously a very troubling and disturbing case. And as you mentioned, at this hour, police are still trying to investigate and determine who committed this heinous crime inside of the movie theater. But police have identified two victims. An 18-year-old woman died here at the movie theater. And police say the 19-year-old man is on life support. Now, we're showing you pictures of the first victim here, 18-year-old Riley Goodrich. She was shot and killed inside of the theater. We know there's a GoFundMe page to help her family, and we spoke with one of her friends who was too distraught to go on camera, but says Riley's family is concerned about their safety, because right now police are not quite sure what took place inside of this movie theater. Now we know the second victim is 19-year-old Anthony Barajas. Police say he's on life support at the hospital following the shooting. We want to also show you some scene video that we gathered earlier at around midnight when this happened. We know that Corona police say Goodrich and Barajas were at the Edwards Theater within the Crossings Shopping Center together to see a movie. Both of them were watching a late showing of The Forever Purge when the shooting happened. Again, police have said that they've recovered some items from the scene, but they have not yet recovered a firearm. They have upgraded this from a death investigation to a homicide investigation at this time, and police are really asking for the public's help. They're asking for anyone who was in the area or possibly in the movie theater between the hours of 9 and 1145 to come forward and give them any information about maybe any suspects that they saw or if they heard anything as well. Again, police really need the public's help on this case, but obviously a tragic story. An 18-year-old woman has passed away and a 19-year-old man is on life support following the shooting inside of this theater. Back to you. All right, Coco, thank you.